I do love religions. Uh, as much as I love religions and reading about them, uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of science. Like I love theoretical physics. Right? I love theoretical physics. I love reading articles about them. But they always just fuck with my head. Right? I read an article recently by the Spanish theoretical physicist who said, uh, why not to disprove everything Albert Einstein set up about the string theory, which we all know is that the universe exists in nine different dimensions and vibrates on nine different frequencies. And through a complex set of calculations, we know that gravity is a real force, but we can't prove that it exists. What this guy says is we throw gravity out the window. Fuck gravity, it hasn't done anything for us. And now we can explain the universe in three different dimensions. And all the calculable amount of energy in the universe can be calculated into the event horizon of a black hole. Past that, there's absolutely nothing. No light, no force, no mass, absolutely nothing. So the energy in the universe doesn't have enough energy to expand or grow, but rather bends and reflects on itself, so we might not even be real, that we might be simulations. <laughs> That is a terrifyingly beautiful idea right there. Holy <laughs> shit. Right? The dude that discovered that must have unhinged as a person. No human being goes out to discover their own non-existence. That's insane. <laughs> he must have just done calculation by calculation to prove himself right. The first person he tries to tell is his wife is, Honey, you're not going to believe what I just discovered. That's nice, sweetheart. Uh, are you going to take out the mail? Because we got a lot of it piling up. Some of them are bills. The, the mail! Give the shit about the mail! The universe doesn't exist! <laughs> Every time his kid comes up to talk to him and ask him for a new toy, he can only tell him about the futility of his own existence. <laughs> I unhinged, and all I did was read a goddamn article. Right? I was like, why do I have friends? Right? Maybe breakfast is the most important meal of the day because it doesn't fucking exist. <laughs> Then I started realizing that not existing might be the most liberating thing that could ever happen to me. Right? That was, it was great. I just walked around without pants on for a week and a half. Started pushing old women across the streets. I was like, guys, it's fine. Either she or the bus that hit her actually exists. We're cool. I discovered I was the Matrix. The first one, not the shitty trilogy, like where it should have ended. I stopped paying parking tickets. Holy shit, that was awesome. Right, and every time I'd have to go to parking court, they, I would pull out the article and be like, guys, <laughs> you read this article about this Spanish theoretical business, turns out neither the ticket or I are real, so can we all just go home? I got Netflix and pancakes waiting for me. <laughs> but it turns out, guys, the parking authority believes in the nine-dimensional string theory like a bunch of rubes. <laughs> but I kept thinking about it because it kept bugging me, you know? And I realized that I like existing. I had known to exist for 26 years. And right? I wanted to prove desperately that I existed, so I went back to that article to try to disprove this man wrong. A man that spent his entire life working on this one article, one calculation, right? He doesn't live with his family in Spain anymore. No, he lives in a studio apartment in Poughkeepsie, New Jersey. His roommate's a sewer rat because that guy clearly fucked up. <laughs> no scientific community wants to publish his paper. Neil deGrasse Tyson's giving him the finger. And he still sticks by that word. And I was going to try to disprove him wrong in a matter of binge watching a season of Breaking Bad. Right? Like, look at the article and go, aha, aha, I got you, you forgot to carry the one, I got you, fucker. <laughs> but then I started thinking even more, and I realized that if the universe doesn't exist, neither does the article I read. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, what a massive discovery that was. I was so excited, I had to tell somebody, right? So I decided I'm going to write the Spanish theoretical physicist a letter. And it's a dear Spanish theoretical physicist. Because this <laughs> name's not the matter if he's a figment of his own imagination. <laughs> it's a dear Spanish theoretical physicist. Turns out, by writing this paper and proving the universe doesn't exist, your paper doesn't exist. So I think it's time you move back in with your family and got yourself a Netflix subscription, because that is going to be the height of your existence. <laughs>